We wanted them to feel welcome. On this day, we wanted them to feel excited. The first day of a new school year, there's a certain air of excitement across Duncanville ISD. Quite busy. Including here on campuses like Charles Acton Leadership Academy. From 7.30 this morning, we started welcoming in scholars. Principal Jessica Linwood and her team are paying great attention to detail as students return to campus for full in-person instruction. Welcome to the virtual classroom. Knowing the pandemic forced many teachers and students to spend the last school year apart primarily in virtual classes. We've got changes to our environment from the outside to the inside. As students flood the halls and file into classes this first day of school, administrators say safety measures are top of mind. Many children are wearing masks, though school districts can't require them. Linwood says some other steps are also happening. Some have sent water bottles, for example, if they don't want their students to use the water fountain. Um, in the classrooms, there's an option of shields uh, for some students if they need that, and we have them sitting uh, nicely apart when they're in the cafeteria having lunch. Duncanville ISD administrators say a large number of students have enrolled and showed up for the first day of classes. That's a positive sign, considering the district's focused a lot of energy on getting students to return. Now, teachers will shift some efforts to gauging where students stand academically. And we're probably the most excited because we've been here the longest waiting for the kids to come. And as Mrs. Linwood explained, that includes making sure the scholars on her campus strive for unstoppable excellence. In Duncanville, I'm Damon Fernandez.